is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Miles Horror Podcast. Uh, it's been a cool minute since I've sat in this chair and, and really talked with everyone, but today is a special, special podcast. Today, we have with us a new and up-and-coming scare group that... Uh, I can't remember if I found you guys or if you found me, but it doesn't matter because I'm glad we found each other. <laughs> I heard about you, yeah. so. Exactly. <laughs> This is right here. Uh, I think this is going to be. Uh, they they were killing it this haunt season. Obviously, everyone knows this is a. This was a very difficult haunt season for a lot of people. Um, major haunts were closed, and um, we were all. I can speak for everyone probably here. We were all trying to find somewhere to do something this season. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, pretty that's much. very true. Because it, it was a very uh, obviously with the whole pandemic going on, it was uh, extremely tough. But today, I'm sitting down with the Scare Squad Society. How are you guys doing today? Hey, hey pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, stoked, man, I'm stoked, man. I'm stoked. I have a ton of questions to ask you guys because I, I really want to get to know you guys and and how you guys got into all this and, and everything. And I'm really excited. So. Let's just go around. The, let's just go around. This is probably, by the way, the biggest Zoom call I've ever hosted on the podcast. So you guys are nice. shattering records. Yeah, cool. <laughs> um, let's just go around the table and introduce everyone, your characters, all that fun stuff. Um, I'm curious to know everybody and who everybody, everybody plays, everybody, um, how your characters are, all that stuff. Let, let's go around the room. So whoever wants to start, go for it. All right, cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Nice. Nice, say. guys. <laughs> um, I don't know. Who, who wants to start? I think Alex is pretty good at uh, starting stuff off. Who, me? Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, we'll start with the most underwhelming one, all right? <laughs> so, uh, I'm Alex. Uh, uh, <laughs> My character's name is uh, Entity. Do, you, do I explain like the story behind it, or are we good? You know what? If you want to, it's up to you. I'm leave that. I'm gonna leave the details up to you. Whatever you guys want to share, whatever you guys want to want to come out with. I mean, I know you got a little twin brother down there too, so maybe he wants to share some stuff. Hey, buddy. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Entity. Um. Oh my gosh. And he was a. It's a pretty simple story. Uh. It's nothing like oh crazy. Uh. He um he's like us. He's an entity from hell, basically. He uh he devours souls. He was made specifically to uh, take the souls of the sinners and just de devour them and put them into a uh, what we call the maw. And the maw is like where tortured souls go and uh, people who've done bad stuff. So he's kind of like uh, he's ushering them into their new life, their afterlife, basically. Yeah. I dig it. I dig it. Anything from hell, I'm, I'm there, man. I, you know, I like all that, I like all that mythology. I'm here right now, bro. I'm here right now. <laughs> uh, hell yeah. Right, who's next on the table? <clears throat> all right, cool. I guess I'll go next. Then. <laughs> go for it. So, um, I'm Steen. I play Hiroshi, uh, and my character is a Japanese demon. My huge inspiration for this one, and I can't remember the scare zone name exactly, but it was at Horror Nights last year. Um, but that was my huge inspiration because I've never really seen any Japanese themed stuff other than Shadowlands and the Horror Nights um, scare zone last year. So I really kind of wanted to bring that out um, and do something cool with it. I think you're talking uh, Spirits and Demons of the East, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, that's the one. Yeah. Got you. Got you. Feel that. I, I like uh, Japanese uh, horror is probably some of the scariest horror out there, and um, a lot of the like the Ring, the original, uh, not the Ring. Um, I'm sorry, uh, the Grudge, the Grudge, the original Grudge, probably scarier, hands down, scarier than the than the uh, American yeah, right. remakes, I, in my opinion. Um, oh, for sure. And just mm -hmm. just, their, just their, their way of doing things. It's just very. It gives you creepy vibes. So I I, I dig it. Yeah. All right, who's next? Uh, I can go next. Or no, no mouth. Go ahead. Wait, you were no, uh, you sure? you could... Same time. <laughs> point, point. <laughs> uh, so I just say name, no, name, monster, and then story background. Yes, sir. All right, what's up, guys? Um, 
My name is RJ, but my real name is Hank. My character is Noma. Uh, the story behind it, he's a, well, my creature goes from the depths of the grace. Uh, he's a punisher for those, like for the, he punishes the people who are the innocent because he doesn't want to see people being punished. So he punished those who hurt the innocent. So that's basically it. I mean, you had you had me at Punisher, man. I have that like tatted on my body, so that's good. <laughs> that's awesome, man. I really like that a lot. Uh, I yeah, that's that's a pretty cool one, actually. Uh, all right, who's next? Uh, I can go next. All right, probably. Okay. Um, what's up? My name is Sam. Uh, my character is Psycho. Uh, Psycho is like this like uh, demon clown. Uh, he torments all these like bullies and stuff. That um, in his past life he was bullied, and he just you know he reigns terror on those who torment. I like that a lot, man. That that actually has a uh, very positive message right there. Honestly, I like that a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, that one's cool, man. I mean, I, I, job, I think that's a, a number one issue in this world as far as school goes is bullying. So I mean, to have a character that you can take out and be like, hey, you want to be a bully? I could be a bigger bully. <laughs> I like that a lot, man. That's cool. That's a good one. Uh, all right, who's next? All right, I'll go. Um, my character's name is Creepy Clown Doll, and she's this doll that was left behind by her insane owner. She was left inside the asylum for tons and tons of years, but if she catches you, and you look into her eyes, she takes your soul. Damn, I don't... So that's pretty much it. I think I'm going to avoid all eye contact with you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> At all times, please. That's, that's awesome right there. I like, I like the whole uh, the asylum and stuff, too. I've always been interested and fascinated with stuff like that. So I'm really... That's a really cool one. All right. Who's next? Yeah. <laughs> I can go next. All righty. Um... So I'm Alora. My character is Shadow, and pretty much Shadow was born into a family of witches in the Victorian era. And she wanted to be the first person to create like everlasting life, like never being able to die. So she ended up failing, and she became a creature who wasn't quite alive, wasn't quite dead. And so now she's kind of stalks people to try to find like the perfect specimen to practice on so she can come back to like her original life and fix herself. I like, I, I'm a huge fan of witches too. So far, everyone has piqued my interest with something and I like that a lot. I mean, that's, I think that's the, the good, the good thing I'm hearing about this is everyone has something that's different, which I like a lot. And everybody uh, can bring those characters to life, which is awesome. So I'm loving what I'm hearing so far. Who's next? <laughs> I'll, I'll go. All righty. All right. So my, my name's Gage. My clown name's Rinsler. Uh, I try to be as like mysterious as possible. I don't, I don't actually have like a, a story or anything. So I kind of just like lurk around and like try to make people like wonder like, wait, is that like an actual clown or something? Here, here's my mouse right here. Nice. You're going for the, uh, for the Joker approach. I like that a lot. <laughs> you want to? You don't want no one to know who you are. You just want to be yeah, you. Yeah. Who is this enigma? I like that. All right, that one's cool, man. I like the mystery on that one. All right, who's next? Aro, go ahead. <laughs> Miles. Ah, okay. You, I'll go. <laughs> okay, I'll go. So, um, my name is Caleb, but my character name is Spirals. Uh, also ritual, but mostly spirals. Um, so spirals is an illusionist. He did optical illusions, illusion tricks in the circus. And um, on Halloween night, something bad happened in the circus. Um, it's like bad weather. And like the circus tent all came down, tore down. And um, um, due to a lightning, uh, he got shocked, and so therefore um, he died. But nor did he not die, but he also came back to life. So spirals. I, I'm still working on the character, but yeah, he's like an illusionist. It. I love it. I'm loving the whole lightning aspect of it. That's that's awesome, man. The whole backstory of him being in a 
the circus tent falling down. Yeah, I, when I think lightning, the first thing that comes to mind, because I'm a nerd, is uh, Shazam. So that's like the first thing that came to mind. I'm sorry. I love, I love, I love all that stuff. The Flash, too. Yeah, the Flash as well. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Who's next? I'll go next. Um, so my name's Vanessa. My character name is Lady Blair. You can see her face right here. Um, so she is from an abandoned village. There's like small population life who got murdered. And so she grew old and died. So she tried to come back. Try to come back to life to haunt the ones who murdered her husband. So she, I guess, with like dark magic or curse, she came back to life to haunt those, and she comes in many forms and hides in the shadows. All right. She likes to be like you know. She doesn't like to be seen. She likes to be like kind of hidden. That like works perfect for all the uh, uh, the haunt atmospheres because it's all shadows, exactly. so it works. Exactly. I don't want nobody to see me approaching them. I want them to like uh, suddenly appear there and they're like, oh crap, like where'd you come from? Yep. You should meet Sammy. Right. Sammy would love that. <laughs> okay. Um, my name is Oswald and my character name is Cripclaw, which he became a demon. And his background is um, he, he was a farmer and around like the Midwestern era. So it's kind of like a ghost town homage look. But um, the thing is, he was murdered by marrying a witch, which is Lady Blair, because he thought she was a, a girl just, you know, lost and decided to take her in. But then she was wanted from the witchcraft that she's done, and which was, um, Crip Claw was, he has no uh, real name, so he's always known as his demon name. So now uh, a curse woke him up to secret bench to the ones who murdered him and destroyed his farm. Cause he was a farmer as well. All right. So now we and now the whole world has gotten an introduction as to who you guys are. Um, I, I feel left out if I don't do an introduction, so I'll do one. I don't have a character at all. But my name is Anthony. I'm the host of the Mindless Horror Podcast and the Knights of Horror. If you don't know, now you know. Um, and I'm, yeah, I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> Likewise, uh, yeah, we are too. <laughs> All right, so we got a little introduction of who everyone is. Uh, so let's let's go around the room now. I'm curious. Uh, you guys, obviously, uh, from what I've what I've been told, you guys you guys formed this group fairly recently, right? Yeah. Yes. So yeah. what's, what's the uh, what's the what's the story behind this? Did you guys how long have you guys known each other? Did you guys always want to do this? Uh, what was some inspirations behind this? What what was the whole the whole set in place for this we had actually all met in another event and so like that's how we got to know each other by joining a different event that we weren't uh, in it together like we kind of just sort of we all like came in that group and we met each other. sweet then, i'm digging it but yeah so uh <laughs> that event was a <laughs> show like a car show um, so we had, like, we did a lot of promos and, like, photo shoots together, and then uh, we all bonded a lot closer due to, like, getting each other up for a slider practice, oh, yeah, and, um, yeah, and a few of us made it into a music video, which was, uh, performed by, a uh, rap. I watched it last night, you know, I was, I was digging it. Not a huge rap fan, but damn, that was some good beats. Yeah, a little different, <laughs> different, uh, different. yeah. All right. I dig it. All right. Um, so obviously how long has everyone been doing scaring for, for how long has everybody been doing this for? Damn, I'm not going to lie. That was my first time. Oh, boy. Doing it. <laughs> that was my first time. Doing oh it, yeah. No, I, I forgot taking, that was your first time. Yeah. But I've been taking pictures of like haunt for like the longest time already and you know, it's just fun to, like, stay in, like, scare zones and just watch, like, the scare actors do their thing. I'm like, oh, shit, got him. Oh, like, that is crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, so I like, I like to train those moments when I uh, do my photography. It's a I'm good like, moment. Oh. Yeah. And uh, I thought, man, I'm going to give it a try because there's no – this year there wasn't any, like – there wasn't horror nights. It wasn't odds. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to give it a shot. And then the car show uh, – 
Steam was telling me about it, and I was like, oh, you know what, I'll join. And uh, it was actually really fun. I got to meet uh, all these guys. So, spirals. <laughs> yeah, it was actually <laughs> thanks to Steam that uh, got me into the group as well with the car show. Yeah, I think I think for a lot of us, Steam did get us into it. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're welcome. What's up, Steam? Steam was the man who created. The man behind the. Uh... Here we go. That's how that's how every legend starts. There's always one man that starts it all. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I guess I'll um, tell you how long I've been skiing. Um, so I've actually been sliding for eight years now. Um, I went to Knott's when I was very little, and I saw them doing, you know, all the sliding stuff. And um, I went home that same night. I'm like, dang, that's actually super cool. I want to try that. So next day, um, I went out uh, and I got some skateboarding knee pads, just, you know, <laughs> some cheap razor ones at the time. Um, but, you know, you upgrade slowly. So <clears throat> I just started doing that first time. Uh, obviously, it's a learning process, so it went horrible. But uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not any professional, but I've been doing it for a while and I'm also self-taught, so that was a challenge in itself, but yeah. Sounds like fun, man. That's how every great one starts is they go to knots and they see this and they're like, yep, I want to do this. I've heard a lot of those, a lot yep. of those uh, stories and a lot of those people have become freaking iconic at this point. So you're, you're, you're on your way to, you're on your way to become an icon soon. Yeah, it's definitely an inspiration. I, I my first time was last year at knots. Oh. So ha being able to do this and being able to be a part of this team, like it was really cool. Like it was great meeting all these people. So you probably saw me walking around because I was there like almost every weekend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> that was like my, that was like our home. I live like literally 15 minutes away from Knott's and people always ask me, why don't you go to Universal War Nights more? I'm like, well, because Knott's is right in my backyard. It takes me yeah. like 10 minutes to get there. And well, there. Yeah, that's the same with me. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm right up the freeway, and I just got to hop on the five, and I'm there, and then boom. Yeah. And they have man, a great, you're lucky, bro. <laughs> they have a great exactly. It takes me an hour to get there, man. Man. <laughs> no, that's how it feels like for me on, on traffic days with Horror Nights. It takes me like an hour to get there, and I'm just like, oh, that's man. Yeah. 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 It gets bad. It gets bad. But you know what? When you get there, you're like, totally worth it. Hell yeah. Totally. Oh, yeah, yeah. I feel that. <laughs> yeah. But, uh. All right, who else? How else did everyone start? I want to hear everyone's stories. So I started scaring at a haunted house at a roller rink in Grand Terrence at Calsgate. Um, it was my first ever haunted house. Um, I actually started getting into horror, like, haunts um, since 2014 at Castle Dark. And I was like, okay, so I really like this. But my first year of Castle Dark was really scary. So it was horrifying. But then I went back and I was like, okay, this is actually really cool. I'm really interested. And then I kept going back. And then I was like, hey, you know what? I kind of want to start scary because this actually looks really fun to scare people. So um, the roller rink I always skate at too, um, they had a haunted house. I was like, hey, can I volunteer tonight? And they were like, sure. And so honestly, I could have said that if I could just do redo that ever again, I would do it because that was so much fun. Um, haunted houses are fun, but... Um, I started, uh, when I started getting into streets now scaring, I was like, okay, well, I might like streets better than haunted houses, but, um, but yeah, 2017 is when I mainly started haunting. I dig it. Awesome. That's awesome, man. I mean, that's good that you got to, uh, you got to experience something first and then you made your way onto the streets. Yeah. Um, so that's cool, man. I always hear stories that people want to go straight to streets and there's, there's other stories I've heard that people really like just hopping and floating around in different mazes which is really cool too so um that's being cool, in man. a maze is definitely fun yeah definitely it does not take away yeah no it looks it looks a lot of fun because you can be really creative with the spots you're putting in so and i and i and i see that a lot when i go to knots especially um like everybody makes use of what the space they have which is really cool yeah so definitely uh all right who else uh i could go all right quick um, I say, like, uh, I started, like, getting into, like, all this stuff when I first went to Horror Nights, because Horror Nights is, is, like, maybe, like, 30 minutes away from me, and 
I think I went for my first time in the fifth grade and I hated it, kind of, but I kept on going back and I just kept on going back and back. And then um, when I got to like, I think the eighth grade, I, I was like, we, we went to Knott's Creek Farm for like a, like a celebration night. And I went there and something changed and I just was like, I'm going to do something like this. And I really want to do something like this. And I went to Midsummer Scream and I got this Psycho's Mask and I just started from there and it's been fucking great. I know. Nice. I, I, I know. Your I monster can't... was born. Yeah. I know I can't speak for everyone. I can speak for everyone when I say every. I, I'm pretty sure everyone missed Midsummer Scream this year. Oh, hell yeah, dude. No. Definitely. Yeah, three days. Three days. Oh, be... it's a must. It is. Hopefully it comes back. It's definitely a must. I'm hoping yes. too, man. I, I, I got the opportunity, uh, <laughs> I think, one of the last weekends of Haunt, that Friday, that Haunt season this year. Uh, I actually ran into Work West and talked to him a little bit about it. So he's got his fingers crossed. He's just playing it by day. See what happens. So Yeah. I mean, they're going to have more time yeah. to Okay. Hopefully, yeah, I know. I mean, I know they have a lot of stuff that they're gonna they want to bring back for next year. Obviously, with everything that they had planned for this year, so um, yeah, it's just a matter of probably setting up panels and stuff. But uh, we'll see what happens. I'm hoping. I'm just hoping. I don't know if I can go another year without major haunts, man. Like it was very really? depressing. Yeah, yeah. I hope uh, not. Fingers yeah. crossed. Fingers no, crossed. It comes back. Cross. Fingers crossed. Even Halloween, man. Like we had only like 15 kids come to the door, and it was just sad to see my whole oh. blacked out. Oh, oh yeah. Tell them, tell them. A heartbreak. Oh god. Heartbreak. So I actually had Alex come over, and um, I'm like, hey man, I like let's try and make the most of Halloween because there might be some kids to scare. And oh my god, there's like nobody there. Damn. It honestly didn't even feel like Sorry. Halloween. <laughs> It, it, was, it was all right. It was it was sad, honestly. Like I, I remember just sitting there, like, damn, this is the most depressing Halloween I've ever sat through in my entire life. Like it's just so yeah, sad. Yeah, I agree. Uh, yeah. Not to mention, I, I was sick Halloween weekend. Oh, Saturday I woke up with the meanest oh, stomach ache, oh, and yeah. it went on till Monday, and I was just pissed that like, okay, this is my Halloween's ruined. That's awesome. Being that sick sucks. on Halloween is the worst day ever. Yeah, I, I agree. If I was sick on Halloween, I'd, I'd be, I'd be depressed. I'm like, let me put it to you this way: that. being sick on Halloween is like waking up Christmas morning with no presents. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh my god. god. Yep. <laughs> 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 that's how it'd be for me the honestly. torture the torture exactly no, I, I was, it was just i mean i did my yearly halloween tradition where uh, me and my dad will sit in the front room and we'll watch uh halloween obviously john carpenter's halloween is classic um so we watched that and then afterward i think i went to i, I came in here and played dead by daylight and i just went to bed just i just was disappointed <laughs> it was sad yeah. but you know what uh, it's been an interesting season, and I've, like I said, I've been thankful to just get what we had as far as home haunts, as far as other events that went on. I got to uh, explore and discover new things, which I'm looking forward to hopefully seeing for next year. So I cannot wait, uh, honestly, because this this honestly just opened up my horizons to other things as far as home haunts go and stuff. So a lot of creative people out there, too. A lot of creative people. Yeah. Amazing. A lot of creative yeah, people. I mean, and stuff, man. I would say the one of the best things I saw this year, as far as a home haunt goes, was a uh, Pirates Cave. I don't know if you guys saw that one, but yeah, oh, I heard it. oh yeah, I saw that one. That was phenomenal. <laughs> what they did with the the short time, and I and I talk with those guys a lot, and that was something they came up with in within like two or three months. So God. that wow. was just beautiful. Um, I um I did nice. Shadow Mountain at Corona Haunt. Uh, that was this cool. Year. Yeah, those guys at Corona Hunt too. Shout out to them. They they were champions this year. Yeah. Um, had a lot of fun sure. covering their stuff. Had a good yeah, time. I heard they did amazingly. Yeah, they did a really good job. Them and then uh, one I went to the 30th was uh, Drex Society. Uh, was it Film Oh, Fest? yeah, with the movie theater, right? Yeah, Film Fest 1941. That was really yeah. cool. That was really, really cool. Um, all right. Who's next on the. Uh, go. go for it. So I've been scanning for about five years now. Uh, I've been signing for three years. What started me to get the inspiration to scare, and, you know, and get my talent, like, you know, more better uh, was through Not Scary Farm when I was about uh, 12 years old. 
I was very terrified in the beginning until I saw sliders. The way they do their tricks on point without crashing into people. And I thought to myself, hey, maybe I can, like, you know, do something like that for myself. You know, started with cheap ass, like, you know, how Hiroshi began and then, like, you know, step up to New York. Um, it was crazy because uh, I think I was the only slider in my high school during freshman year. And I think I didn't do sliding on sophomore, junior, and senior, but I did do it during my college years. Badass. Got to... I mean, I'm just impressed of how much sliding has come. I mean, they they they're starting to figure it out now in Germany, oh, yeah. and that, yep. that's really showing you something. Like, it's yeah. starting to go worldwide, man. Crazy. Awesome, man. Sliding's come a long way since its beginning. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. All right, who's next? All right, I'll go. All right, uh, for sure. I uh, been scaring for uh, this is my fourth year. And but I did have like a two year break or like a three year break because uh, I started in high school because in our drama class we'll do like a year every year on um, Corner House. And then, um, sadly, it got canceled because somebody actually got injured. Like somebody decided to put glass on a scene. It takes one person to mess it up for everyone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, uh, yeah, but what brought me back into uh, scaring again was last year. I told uh, my fiance like, oh, we're gonna do a haunted house, a little walkthrough. And um, it was uh, based off uh, John Carpenter's uh, Halloween. So I was just up as Michael Myers. And then she was just like a patient. A, uh, so the, 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 the Yeah, the or like a young version. Like we did a little twist. The young version of Michael. Yeah, nice. so we kind of like, like uh, Rob Zombie. The, the little clown then, huh? Yeah, yeah, the one with the blonde hair. I love that. <laughs> Can't go wrong with Halloween. Oh. Nice. Uh-huh. Freaking Michael Myers. My my. It's funny. I got a funny story about Halloween. Is every every Halloween, my my stepdad will come out and watch his favorite ones are Halloween one, two, and twenty eighteen. Um, and he he tapes and records them, has them on DVD, and he'll watch them almost every night in, ho- in October. And he says, because he wakes up really early for work, that it's still dark outside. That he he'll look down the street, make sure Michael Myers isn't down there or something before he gets in his truck. Like it's one of those things. I'm like, dude, you're as tall as I am, and you're getting scared over Michael Myers. Come on. Sorry. <laughs> but um, I always uh, it started with like knots and Universal, just going to yeah. those. Getting, like I was actually really scared of them. Yeah, like, we gone through all, all the time in high school. So. And also, universe, uh, Universal's a uh, horror house. What was it called? Uh, oh, the the horror. Horror. House of horrors. Yeah. I think it started there, and then that's when we started going to Knott's and Universal, and I was like, wow, like this is it's scary, but it's fun being behind on the other side, being able to see your others, and and then we did our little like haunted house. Um, and enjoying these events these, uh, this year, especially because everything going on, I just started getting into it more. Just fun to see like different ways. Nothing can stop you. Like not even the coronavirus can stop you. Like you can, you'll find a way to do something. Like, <laughs> exactly. Never, never cancel Halloween, man. You can never cancel yeah. it. Oh, die. never die. No. Never dies, bro. Halloween never <laughs> dies. <laughs> Yeah, never dies. That's gonna there. There's your next. Uh, there's your next uh, merch idea right there. Instead of Goonies, never say die. Uh, Halloween, never say die. Yes. Oh yes. <laughs> oh, write that down, bro. Write that down. Write that down. Write that down. Copyright. <laughs> Got the ideas popping. Yeah, bro. Take a note. Always take notes. <laughs> All right. A on hat. There you go. Yes. I'm a sucker for hats, so if you can get some hats, let me know. I'll, I'll buy one. Nice. That's Ooh, next on our list. <laughs> I think I have a collection of like 30-something hats that I just like, within the Damn. next the few weeks, I just rotate through all of them. <laughs> yeah. Honestly? Like, honestly, no, I'm not even, I got hats everywhere. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll start cleaning stuff, and I just start finding all my hats everywhere. I usually try to keep them all in place. like me with the mask. <laughs> <laughs> are they like plain hats or are they like with logos and stuff? So like they're more like this. I got like this one. This one's my new favorite right now. Yeah, the Beetlejuice. Ooh, one. That's hey, a great hey. one. Nice. I like hats. I like. Right I love like putting pens on them. 
Like, yeah. I just that that's my thing. If I'm not doing uh, if I'm not doing hats, I, I, I make a bunch of. I like making my vests with all my patches on them. Oh I mean, yeah, that one. Oh, oh yeah, man. patches. That could be awesome. One right there. That's my Sons of Anarchy one. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, that Son of Anarchy. Yeah, I'm a sucker for patches too. So, yeah, I'm just saying, Scare Squad Society patch. I'd, I'd put it on my vest. Hey, hey, I'll vlog. Oh, hey, 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 uh, I'll I'll go. Alrighty. So I went I went to uh, Fright Fest and saw all of, like the the clowns and stuff there. That's what got me into the clowns and stuff. And then I saw them like sliding and stuff. So I like looked it up on YouTube and saw like, Art Dracula and like all the not YouTubers and stuff. And then I saw all the sliding. So I I made like the the gear and stuff for my tutorial. And uh, I went out with like a group of friends on Halloween and just scared people in public. Which doesn't seem very safe when I look back at it, but it's pretty fun. So this was actually like my first year, like actually going to like an event where I'm like allowed to like scare people. Which is pretty cool. Nice. There you go. Honestly, it's cool because they they'll pay you to do that events. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the best thing. Yeah. I still need to go to Fright Fest. I haven't gone there. I've never been to Fright Fest either. I gotta check that out. It's, it's like a two hour drive from me. No, I feel you. It's it's too far. Hey. But you know what? I but, drove I drove to Arizona to, to go through a 45 minute haunt. I think I can drive out to two hours. Commitment. I got a fairly new I got a car that's about a year old, so I mean let's put some miles on that thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> put that mileage. Put that mileage, man. <laughs> All right. I think we got one more. Who's last? Oh, okay. Alora's internet keeps on cutting out. <clears throat> All right. Is she here? Yeah, she's here. I think so. No, I see her. Okay. I don't... I have connection right now, but I don't know how long I'm going to keep my connection for because it keeps um, getting spotty. It's all good. Well, well whatever you could say, uh, um, we'll take. So... The question is, is, like, how long we've been scaring for, right? Yeah, yeah. How long you've been doing it and, okay. like, where, you know, where you got your, a lot of your inspiration from? Um, so for me, um, I'm, like, an FX makeup artist mostly. And then, so I just kind of went out doing makeup, going to different events for that kind of stuff. And then that's been for about 10 years. But then the past two, three years, I've been, like, unprofessionally haunting. And then last year I worked at Knott's Berry Farm. I was in the depths as one of the mermaids. Hands down, probably one of the best mazes um, I've ever walked through. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, the detail. <laughs> um, and then earlier this year, I also started learning how to slide. So I've been doing a little bit of everything. <laughs> That's awesome, man. I mean, you got you're the you're pretty much like one of the jack of all trades right there. You got you got the makeup in, you got the the, the scaring, so you got the best of both worlds going on. I like that. That's awesome. All right, so now we we've, we've gotten to know who everyone is. We've gotten to know how long everybody's been doing things. Let's talk about uh let's talk about let's talk about your 2020 season, man. I mean, I know like I said in the beginning of the show, it was a very hard one for everyone. Uh, we were all trying to find stuff to do. We were all trying to find somewhere to go. Um, and I think, I think all of us made the most of, of what we could with the 2020 season, obviously with, you know, social distancing and stuff, it made it hard probably for, for a lot of scares, but there was always ways around that. And I saw a lot of creative things this year that still got me, uh, with, with scares. So talk to us about how you guys' 2020 season went, man. I want to hear what you guys did, uh, with the whole pandemic and everything and where you guys went. Well, I can start off first. Um, well... 2020 hunt season was. Whoa! Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> my bad. Um, that's uh, Alex's other. That's his twin brother. <laughs> <laughs> his demonic so, side is coming out. <laughs> so my 2020 hunt season has been the best. If it weren't for these guys, 
Um, I try to find, like, you know, local haunts, trying to find, you know, something I can do to, you know, step up my game. And Steen, I reached out to Steen saying there's, he says, like, hey, man, there's a, you know, haunted car show. And it was going to be awesome. And then I met all of the others. And also, I wanted to thank Oswald as well for also inviting me to Green Spot Hill Farms uh, Haunted Trail and Hayride, correct? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was also an amazing uh, time over there as well, along with Gage as well and um, Vanessa and Oswald. It was pretty cool. I had so much fun. I believe I have, I, I just had to, like, you know, practice a little bit more, on, like, you know, uh, scaring wise. But otherwise, it was pretty, it was a pretty good year. Solid year right there. It's good to hear right there, man. I wanted to go to that one so bad. And I think the weekend I was supposed to go, that's when I got sick and Oof. I was pissed. Cause like, Halloween night? I was going to go, I think, either Halloween night or the night after. Oh, I was going one of then, the yeah, you would have met uh, me, yeah. Oswald, Vanessa, and Gage. I, I was so and, uh, pissed other few I got sick. I woke up that morning and I'm like, oh, out of all days, like you could have. <laughs> Could have been a weekday where I could have missed work. Would have been better for me. Great. It was on a Saturday too. On a Saturday, I, and I, that's why I yeah. feel like, that's what yeah. pisses me off Full about mode. this year. <laughs> I'm gonna rant about that a little bit. That's what pisses me off a little bit about this year. Is the fact Go that for it. It was first time Halloween's been on a Saturday in so long, and it happened during a pandemic. So. Yep. <laughs> In some ways, you know, there are certain ways where Halloween wasn't completely wasted, but I think this was a, a year where the Saturday was completely wasted, where it could have been a yeah. lot better than what it was. Mm-hmm. I believe it was like, what, yeah. you guys have one more night, uh, November 1st, I think it was at Green Spot Hill Farms as well? Yeah, Green Spot. Yeah, yeah. one more final night. Yeah, yeah I, I really wanted to go to that. It looks fun. I like the whole trail, and then I was looking for They were doing a hayride too, right? Yes. Walk through in the hayride itself. I really miss the the like the whole feeling of the Los Angeles hayride um, this year. Oh, yeah. But that's yeah, that's why I was awesome. That is a big reason why I wanted to go because I was like I want to go on a hayride. That sounds fun. Um, that was and I was I was glad that I did Seventeenth Door. So. Oh nice. Oh. You uh. Yeah. You, oh, that one was cool. I missed out on that yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. We should have. Oh. I mean. You we were all planning to go. Y- y'all were scared of getting tased, man. You will probably never oh. see me go to that. Oh, the crazy days. <laughs> I, the I, crazy I, parts, <laughs> I mean, it wasn't that bad. It was just like a little shock. You know how you've been in the slide and you get shocked? It was kind of like that. Oh, yeah. I, I, uh, <laughs> it's like a beast I, shock. I just, I don't like to be touched. So then if someone touches yeah. me, I, it's don't a reaction. Touch. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like if, if, I, if I get touched, I, the Hulk is going to come out real quick and I will be kicked out immediately. And I don't want to do that to anybody. I don't. Like, you don't want to mess with because me. Because it's not your guys' fault. You guys are just doing what you guys are doing. And it's like, it would just be all me. So I'm just like, it's, it's safe that I just don't go to the event at all. It's always like a fear. Like, are, are we going to get hit when we go out there? Yeah. Like, uh, my second time scaring, uh, some little girls was throwing like rocks at me. I was like, what the hell? What are you doing? <laughs> I'll still, I'll still in character. I was like, oh, what are you, what are you doing? Don't, oh. It was like, what? Just throwing stuff I just, at I you. Like, what the hell's going on? Yeah, little rocks. I'm like, where are you getting those rocks from? In my head. The little rocks, they don't want to hurt. It's like, if it's a giant rock, then that's going to hurt. Yeah. Was it, wait, was this at Green Spot Farms? <laughs> yeah, Green Spot Farms. This exactly you, happened to me, too. Some, some you were probably there with me. me. I just couldn't I mean, see in the mask. Well, I mean, some kid was throwing rocks at me. I was like, Oh, I was yeah. so confused. Where's that coming from? That's where. I that's like, where oh, probably so... I step in right there because you know I'll be the outsider. I could just push the kid and be like, "Stop doing that." Oh, it's a her. Hold on, let me make sure I bring someone that's a woman with me that can do that. Because if I do that, that doesn't look good. <laughs> like I got For green <laughs> For Green Spot, it was mostly the guests touching the actors more than the actors touching the guests. I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, people were touching. The last <laughs> people were so locked. Hugs. So that's what I would yell at their face. I would have just like, gotten a deep voice and just yelled social distancing and then just walked away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, did that once. I did that once uh, on the day of Halloween. I was I just screamed it. I don't even know if anyone could hear that. 
I was screaming, and then they're like, "Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that." And they're like, and they just simply left the line. I'm like, "Okay." Hey, that's better for one person now that they just moved up a person, so that's good. <laughs> that's true. It was kind of hard to scare green spot farms though because it was mostly like rocks and gravel dirt, but yeah, um, yeah you and were, it was kind of uh, awkward because I didn't know how to scare. So then Alex gave me his Ooga Blaster. I was like, okay, okay. Then. <laughs> I was like, okay, let's get. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, honestly, I, kept, I think the I best thing for that. Lot. In character, <laughs> scaring other people, and he'd just be like, "Walk up and scare me!" Like yeah, he doesn't scare me. Hey, you did that too. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'd be, I be, I be out here lurking, and then you come out from behind. Like, what the? Uh, He's like, where do you like, came from? Yeah, that's what you do right from, there. You, you're supposed to scare me, dog. With an environment like that, I think that's you just scary. gotta, you gotta, what? you release your inner Merrick and just get the thunder jug. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I use. That's right there, the thunder jug, that? man. Those things are those things are effective, man. You you'd be surprised. They're very effective. Yeah, those things are just yep. those are nuts, man. Um, yeah, I mean, I I I think uh I think it was um one of you <laughs> was telling me that yeah, that was all gravel and, and everything, so it was not it was hard really hard to you know there was no sliding at all really. So you but yeah, you still had to you had to yeah. Work. I, kept I kept slipping on it. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, I kept I kept slipping on. It, it's all it's tricky it's really tricky but there was this one part there at like this barn but there was like concrete so i guess we could slide a little bit but that yeah. was it bro that's it just like a little like strip a <laughs> yeah it's like a little strip like you could scare everybody with then like the whole like queue trying to get their tickets all right yeah, yeah that, that, it was like mostly the bathroom yeah, I would be hiding. Like, <laughs> doors. Bro, I'd, be, I'd be standing out the restroom and I'll look at them and I'm like, no, no. I was like, uh. once safe, once you enter, or once you're even in the property, nobody's safe. I think uh, it was funny because uh, when we went to Fear Farm in Arizona, there we went to the corn maze and they had clowns with chainsaws in there. So one of the clowns popped up. It scared us at first, but then I don't think he realized. I think he realized we were enjoying it too much because we haven't really seen too much chainsaws this season. And he just started going full blown like Leatherface oh, at the end of Texas Chainsaw Sam. Massacre, of oh. just just waving the thing around Sam. and just partying with us. I was like, "This is the greatest thing ever." I was like, "He just scared like a bunch of girls, so he's trying to celebrate." And I'm like, "I'm I'm I'm chill with that." Oh, chill out, Sam. Oh. Hold on, Sam. Hey, hey, so 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 uh, bro. <laughs> 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 Like, bro, he'd be, he'd be, that'd be sleeping on his on his nightstand right there with them, you know, at the end of the night. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. Like, what a great man. King Talk gang had fun at uh the Haunted Car Show. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. It's not the day. That was so fun. Sad. Oh yeah. So I just I'm weird. I, I the minute I, I, I love the smell of that the chainsaws, man. Oh, I don't, I don't oh yeah, the what, gas. Yeah. It's addicting. I don't know what it is, but it's, it's very like, addicting. You it just got, horn, it just yeah. has this addicting yeah. smell to it. So it's just, it just you, it's the smell that you know it's one of the scents of haunt. You're like, I'm yeah. I'm home. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay. That and fog too. Fog, yes. I I will purposely just You know, they um they make scented fogs. For candles, right? No, uh, so Corona Hot used scented oh, fog machines. Oh, okay. Oh. I was like, yeah. I was like, it smells so much like cotton candy, and I was like, <laughs> so how did they do that? Yeah, and it's like oh, little drops of uh, scent. I was like, that's brilliant. That's awesome. Yeah, we have one that smells like fertilizer for our house. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, because uh, you were supposed to make a. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> No, I uh, it's it's one of those things where like when I went to Taste of uh, uh, Halloween this year, if you guys stayed at night, uh, Ghost Town threw on the fog machines, and I would literally at the end of the night when I was done with everything, I would just sit oh. by a fog machine just to just inhale it all. Yeah. It's probably horrible for my body, but I don't care because it's <laughs> yeah. so good. Like I don't care. This is not this is the feeling of fun. This is just it's it. Called right fog drugs. This was it right here. Fog <laughs> drugs. Yep. So at the haunted car show, um. We had a uh, little scare zone for the cars waiting to get into the the drive through maze. Right. And there was a moment when uh, cops <laughs> went by. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, we were like, wait, are we doing uh, this legal or are we good? <laughs> <laughs> like, it was just a Cody sack. So I just decided to like just pull around and then we all froze like, okay, is the event going to get shut down? And next thing you know, 
Uh, I think Sam just raises up his uh, chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. we're going. He's scared him off. Turn around quickly. <laughs> That's hilarious right there. It's so, funny. talk to me about the future of this group. Where do you guys want to go, man? What What's next for you guys? Wait, wait, wait. Um, I know for sure. I mean, I know for sure I'm doing Castle Dark, but I told Alex, let's do Castle Dark next year. And he's like, okay, well. I'm close. Yeah, you know what? I just want to... I just want to be able to scale with them again. It was, it was freaking fun. Yeah. Last time. Yeah. Yes. Uh, wherever Same. they want to I do, know I'm uh, going back to knots, but I definitely want to scare with them again. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is the coolest group I've ever been with. Definitely. Yes. So I would probably go back to Green Spot Farm for a weekend, but my goal is for uh, to do knots scary farm. Yeah, of course. Knots. I'm I want to do knots, but I don't know if I can. <laughs> oh, bro, you gotta at least visit at least that only one day. I will, I will. <clears throat> I'll probably do it for a week, hopefully. Nice. <laughs> Use all those five days to go every single hunt. <laughs> yeah. cool. I wish. Like, I would want us to like do more things together. Like, yeah, maybe of course. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. we'll see the go-go maybe dances. Like a video shoot or this guy, go see the <laughs> video dancers. Oh, God. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, what bro. Are the things like, stopped doing that like got, years ago, man. Got, got, yeah, yeah, you gotta no, let it go. Like, you gotta <laughs> let it go. Bro, that's why you gotta go to Orlando, bro. <laughs> that's <laughs> why you had to go there for a reason. Yeah, bro. They had these still walking girls. I was like, whoa. Is that partying with them? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, dude, get out of this scare zone already, bro. I know. I wanted to go last year when they did the uh, the Rob hours. Zombie scare zone. That looked dope. Oh, that, dude, that was a good scare zone. <laughs> that everybody, one was amazing. Everybody always. Uh, I have a buddy who who always talks shit about Rob Zombie, um, just to fuck with me because he knows it pisses me off. Um, but uh, then he went through that scare zone. He's like, it, it was actually pretty good. I'm like, I, I told you. You just yeah. never listen to me. So. <laughs> I'm like, I told you it was going to be good. Listen to me. It's like Rob Zombie's best album he's ever made, so it's obviously going to be good. Um, yeah. What I'm waiting for is a Misfits maze. I want a Misfits maze so bad. No, I want, I, I'm actually looking forward to that. I, if they ever do that, or yeah, really want Iron Maiden, or Metallica, oh, Iron Maiden. you know, yes. Megadeth. Okay. Iron Maiden Dude, would Megadeth. be dope. Oh yeah, heard- Iron Maiden would be awesome. Iron Maiden, I heard yeah. that's like a been a big rumor, no? I, I, I think so. Yeah. The group. Didn't they do a Black Sabbath one? They did. That <laughs> yeah, was, yeah, that's 2013. Probably yeah. one of my favorite mazes I've ever went through. For real, that was a uh, uh, last maze of that year, and I was like, Dude, this maze is awesome. Well, uh, you know, it was it was it was so it was something where I was so spoiled where it was like 2011 and 2012 they did Alice Cooper, and then 2013 oh, yeah. they did Sabbath, and then like. They didn't do any more music after that, and then they brought in like Figure. Uh, Figure's cool. I like. I actually is one of the only EDM artists that I will listen to, um, because I like. I love his style of like horror meets like EDM, which is awesome. Yeah. Um, and then that's a big fan. Yeah, Figure's Figure's dope, man. I really like Figure. Um, it's either them or I either listen to them or Daft Punk. That's all I listen to as far as the EDM world goes. Um, and then they kind of slowly brought. It's somewhat back with The Rock when they brought in Universal Monsters because yeah. of Slash. Slash. Ooh, oh, Universal Slash Monsters. The, the, the Clowns one, too. Yeah. yeah. 2014. Yeah, was dope. But uh, Universal Monsters, I think, probably is on my top three. As no. it, It's probably, for me, top three for Horror Nights, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, Universal Monsters, uh, Black uh-huh. Sabbath 1330. Killer Clowns from Outer Space was a really good maze because I love the way – they did the design of the props, how realistic it looks based from the movie. Right. And they, like the way they make their characters, I just love the way they look. They look right, like they're actually right. the real ones from the movie. Right. Pretty accurate. Who says we can't talk Han in the off season? And yet here we are. Yep. <laughs> here we are. It's in my blood, man. I can't not talk about Han. It's flowing through me right now. <laughs> no, stop. Non-stop. Live and breathe it. I know. Um, so uh, this year, I'm, I'm gonna bring up right now. Um, I was gonna scare at three locations, which was of course Green Spot, was originally gonna be one weekend, and then the weekend after that was gonna be the haunted car show. 
and the weekend after that had a be Hellfest. Hellfest. Welcome to Hellfest. Sadly, damn, I'm sad. So I, yeah, I, I, we I all know what happened so with Hellfest. Bad. Wow. So, I got, I got chickens for it. Heartbroken when I saw that post. Yeah. So, we we were gonna do it. You know? <laughs> did, did he even like tell you guys before? You no, they, I mean they else? did. I actually saw the post first, and then I got the text message. So I was like, "Oh snap!" Like, <laughs> like it's real. real. Like we were already planning for a uh, for tech rehearsal. Right. The yeah. day before. Yeah. Oh yeah. That thing that day we. Uh, I'll talk more in depth after the podcast. There's some details that. The public shouldn't know, but um, <laughs> yeah, we were supposed to go to the media. Oh, after you that, can tell us happened. afterwards, not yeah. a problem. Yeah. Um, we were supposed to go to that media <laughs> night, uh, to film our try not to get scared challenge this year. And uh, uh, oh, yeah, you guys are the champions, or what? Wait, well, of course, we're the champions, dude. Two years running, don't even listen to Mr. E, bro. Don't even listen to Mr. E, dude. That guy's, I don't even know. I just I, 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 like I said before, man, next year he should just sit it out. It's just simple as that. Let, let, the, let, the grown -ups, let the grown ups do the challenge. The kids can sit it out. Let the professionals do it. Oh! oh. Let the grown ups do the challenge. Call him out. Call him out. Yeah. Oh, it's just three, man. Come on. Let the grown ups do the challenge. It's okay. You can sit this out. Um, no, I, I gave him two opportunities this year and he lost both. So. Oh, damn. Yeah, it really it really shows you he needs Thomas and Josue to win. So, oh, it was just him. It was just him and me. Oh. Dang. Oh. Who knows though? Maybe next year, you know, I'll, I'll just sit it out and let my other three guys, you know, do it. And yeah, let's go just watch off the sidelines. Be like, you know what? I beat him twice last year. Why do I got to do this this year? Yeah, man. Um, <laughs> take, like, take a little retirement. <laughs> Who knows? No retirement year. Maybe it's one of you that scares him. Oh. oh. Maybe. Oh, who knows? Is that a challenge? Is it a challenge? Right, we got you, Rinsley. <laughs> we got this, bro. bro. Well, we we uh maybe it's a maybe it's a go-go dancer that scares him. Oh, <laughs> I, I like that idea. I like that. I like that. I knew he would get excited with that one. I knew he would. <laughs> Yeah. I fall asleep until you said that. <laughs> he was like, oh. that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, same like that. Uh, I, I really like uh, everything that I've been hearing here tonight or today. Um, it, it's it's really I could see that you guys are really uh, pretty much like a family, and it's and that's good. Um, because I think that's the most important part is your guys' chemistry. Uh, if you guys have really good chemistry, you guys are gonna have uh just a phenomenal uh scare group together honestly you guys are gonna just do amazing things and i'm glad that i was able to uh get you guys on early on that way we can introduce you guys to the world and hopefully uh get more people coming your guys this way because i think a lot of people need to hear about you guys i really do sure um, yeah, a lot of people. <laughs> so I'm, I'm hoping this podcast helps in any way to to get people flowing your way because i think you guys need to be heard and i think you guys need to be seen um we're all hoping for 2021 to be a better year um yeah for i think not only haunt season but just life in general um, oh, yeah yeah, yeah it, it, it's <laughs> been movies, you know, pretty it's pretty crazy. ass bro it, it's been an insanely tough 2020 uh, but we've all together <laughs> overcome so many obstacles to try to get yep. into 2021, and we're only a month and a half away from getting out of this sh uh, shitty year. Um, yeah, we just got to push through. Yeah. Push. Uh, a lot of people passed away this year. A lot of people have uh, gotten this stupid virus that should have never been where it's at right now. Uh, a lot of people have lost jobs. A lot of people have uh, just been struggling to, to get around. Um I think in the end of the day, my job as a content creator is uh, I want people to come watch uh, our, our channels and, and everything and just get away from the bullshit that's going on in the world because there's just too much negativity and too much, too much things going on in the world that I, I want to provide a space for everyone to come and just be positive and get away from the bullshit, whether it be five minutes or an hour. You know, I want everybody to come here and feel safe, and that's why I brought on the scare squad society to do that exactly so we can all feel safe we can all reminisce and we can all uh go forward and just be happy hell yeah right on amen amen i appreciate you having 
<laughs> Amen. It's only going up from here. No more going down. No more going, going down. No more going down. <laughs> no more going down. No, no more going, going down. down. Hype train. Now, if we only just open some more movie theaters, I'd be very happy about that. Oh but, yeah. You know, oh yeah. That's that just me. One, uh, I went to I went to I went to uh, the movies in Arizona, and I was just. I almost cried sitting in the theater because I had not been in the theater in seven months, and I was like, this is me. <laughs> "Hey, there was like nobody in the theater though." When I no, saw you on your story, no, yeah, there was just me, and Sammy, and then another guy, uh, and we. That hey, was another saw... guy. <laughs> 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 that was when we saw a tenant uh, in the morning, and then and in the evening we saw Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade because you know Sean Connery passed, and yeah, I wanted to do, we'll watch well. that in theaters. And God, I I know why I love that movie so much. It's because of that guy right there. So, um, yeah. I'm just saying, from everything that I've heard from you guys today, uh, Scare Squad Society, the movie, should happen. The movie. Oh, yeah. Hey. Just, so like an anthology or what? Like every <laughs> story of our characters? Maybe like an episode for every character Ooh, leading up to the grand reveal yeah. of everyone together. I'm Ooh, I'm down. Just saying. Hey, I got um, some ideas brewing up here. Just... Hey. <laughs> hey, shoot him over. Oh, hey, Alex, awesome. you get the pencil, yeah. write it down. <laughs> I got you, bro. Got Don't you, bro. worry about it. Man. Every guy right here, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Artists in the group. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gage, That's you look, you look. What's going on, Gage? I want to hear from you, man. What? Oh, uh, I don't know. How you doing, man? Hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, man. Cheer up. We're good. Show, show, show me oh, yeah. you do the flip. I do, I do part four, so like I do, I can do flips and stuff like that. So that's kind of like adds to my clown character. Wait, you do parkour? Pretty good. Yeah. That is fucking yeah. badass. Thanks, bro. Man. The only one that has like the most extreme. I mean, we can try ever. doing it, but we'll probably lose shit. <laughs> yeah. I could do. Yeah, you gotta uh, teach us. I could, do a, I could do a backflip underwater. Hey. <laughs> underwater backflip. <laughs> nah, that's cool, man. Uh. You got any content out there for your parkour or what? Yeah, on my uh, main Instagram. Oh, yeah. I have a bunch of clips and stuff. I think uh, for Christmas, I think we all need to chip in and get him a GoPro. Yeah. I, yeah. I one. He's, He's got, got one. one. Never mind. We don't oh, got to get him one. He's got one. I still need to make like the POV. You could do, yeah. uh, you could do a that whole uh, Hardcore Henry's type thing where the entire thing's in first person action film. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, first. Hey, that's like a pretty good idea. All right. I, 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 like I said, guys, I love what I'm hearing today, and you guys are going to do amazing things. I'm here. If you guys need me, 100% support Scare Squad Society. I'm here, man. If you guys ever need anything, you let me know. I'm only a text away on Instagram. <laughs> and then we're only a Zoom call away from there. So, yep. uh, I can't wait to see the future of the Scare Squad Society, and I hope everyone else watching out there can't wait either because they're going to do some amazing things. Uh, together and from what i've heard they, they've already are doing amazing things from the, the very limited 2020 haunt season that we've had they've made the most out of it which is awesome um and i can't wait to see what's next for you guys man hopefully uh roll up together in some conventions roll up to together sure. in some, uh, it's summer events. yeah hopefully it's summer i can't wait thing i would like to add for our group is um we don't want nobody to feel like you cannot come up to us or ask us any questions our page is active all the time. We have 10 cast members and if you have any questions, you want any tips, you know, any, want to learn some. Yeah. Things you know if it's me though. Yeah. yeah. Like we always have like a slider practice. I like how Alex was like, you'll know if it's me though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I immediately would know if it was you. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. Have you ever seen a go-go dancer before, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm asking you what you're going you're gonna to scare. Yeah, go-go dancer. Like, oh, <laughs> I, know who's talking to, I know who I'm talking to now. Uh, Damn, bro. All right, guys. Well, I, I've had a, a, an amazing time talking with you guys. And you know what? This is only the beginning. I think what we should do is maybe once a year get together with you guys and see what's up, catch up, and yeah, sure. have a good yeah. time, man. Uh, but we got a lot of stuff hopefully planned for the future. And I can't wait to uh, to see these these people grow. I, I'm really excited to to have found them early on, like I said. Hit them up, um, and always, if I can leave everybody with this, never say no to an opportunity, because yeah. yeah. it could be either the best decision in your life or the worst decision in life, but in the, in the end of the day, you'll learn something, so, and I love never, that's, I think that's what helps me, motivates me, is I never say no to anything, really, so.
I'm glad I didn't say always, no at all. Always learn something. Always learn. I, I've learned a lot about you guys. I'm super excited to see you guys out in the um, in the haunt uh, community. Uh, come time next year, I can't wait to see you guys scare. If you see we'll a big tall guy us. wearing glasses and a hat, that's Sammy. Make sure to yeah. scare him extra. He gets scared really easy. That's an easy scare if you guys need a scare. Hey, you're watching this. <laughs> I know I get you, dog. Yeah. Bro, he, knows. he knows, man. No, hey, we're I'm coming saying, after you. You're having a rough night and you just, you know, haven't been hitting the scares. Like, you know, just come out of nowhere. Just yell, make loud noises. He'll get scared. Promise you. Or if, <laughs> or if you're at Not Scary Farm and you find us and he's sleeping on a bench, best way to get him to. Sleeping? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yeah, hey, he's no, you can't sleeping. be sleeping at all. Dude, yeah, okay, man. let's just put it this way: the guy fell asleep during a WWE wrestling event with me. Oh, uh, which, uh, which one? Oh. We went to, uh, I think it was last Christmas. Uh, we went to, uh, they did a live show for SmackDown at the Staples Center, not televised. It was just live show. Dang. And uh, he, he, the, the guy was really sick that day, so I'll give him the pass. But. Uh, halfway oh. through, we watched Bray Wyatt fight, and uh, that was who we really came to see because we wanted to see the Fiend. That's a huge inspiration oh, yeah. behind uh, the Fiend. That's I a can't huge believe he actually created his own mask. Yeah, uh, Tommy Tom Savini. I think that yeah, that guy uh, molded his mask. Man, the guy's a fantastic makeup artist. But yeah, we were after the halfway show. It was the main event with Roman Reigns and Baron Corbin in a street fight, and he fell asleep. <laughs> sounds, like my, sounds like my dad wakes up and says, Wow, that was a good How show. You falling asleep through a street fight. There's tables, there's freaking chairs, it's a street there's fight. Cans. Like, you don't get to see this on TV all the time. But I had a great time today. I hope you guys all had a great time on the oh, podcast. Yeah. Thank you for having us, man. Hey, oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anytime. You guys are welcome back anytime. Likewise. Anytime. Sure. So I cannot wait to see. Like I said, what happens next year with everyone, and uh, you guys got my support, so definitely uh, check them out on Instagram, Scare Squad Society. Uh, and from there, I think you'll find all their individual haunt pages, I'm, I'm assuming, right? Everyone's yeah. found yeah, individual. Yeah, yeah. So if you want to follow so. yeah. someone individual, sure. or if you want to hit Alex up about go-go dancers, I'm pretty sure. Got I'm you, dog. <laughs> you don't worry about it, bro. <laughs> yes. You want to talk to Sam, you talk to Sam about some chainsaws? I'm pretty Always sure he'll give you a history lesson dancers. on that. <laughs> I want to talk about games with some parkour. That's, you know, he'll give you a little lesson yeah. on some parkour. <laughs> Pretty sure everyone's got something to bring to the table, man. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for being on the show. I, I, I had a fun time today, and I hope everyone else enjoyed watching this episode. If you guys enjoyed this episode of the Minosaur Podcast, hit that like button with that subscribe button and the bell notification to be aware every time we put up a new video. Follow us on Instagram at the Knights of Horror. Follow us on Twitter at Knights of Horror. I'm your host, yeah, Anthony. Yeah. This is the Scare Squad Society. Yo! Yeah. <laughs> we will see you guys real soon.